What is up everyone, I am Demon Cringe, and today we're going to be talking about the uh, apparent uh, new Powerpuff Girl that's going to be added. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the horrendous uh, 2016 Powerpuff Girls reboot is uh, still the talk of the town, because uh, right now it's going to be getting a new character, and uh, yeah, uh, people have been flipping out, and um, rightfully so. So without further ado, let us get into this, shall we? And by the way, um, I will be referencing two articles, which will be linked in the description below. So, uh, Screen Man says the Powerpuff Girls are adding a fourth team member. The Powerpuff Girls will officially add a fourth member to the team later this month, but a first look at the character and her voice actress have already been revealed. The premiere of the Powerpuff Girls received middling reviews from critics, yeah, that is that is putting it very very lightly, yeah. I think it was a little bit worse than a middling, yeah. Uh, but the series is popular enough with its target audience, the Cartoon Network decided to renew it for a season 2 and what a wise ass decision that was. Uh, people surely wanted a, a season 2 of this, uh, this beautiful masterpiece of a reboot. <laughs> EW reported that the fourth Powerpuff Girl will be unveiled on a CN a Sunday, September at 5, uh, during the premiere of the five-part movie titled The Powerpuff Girls Para 4. Now here's what a lot of people are talking about. A lot of people are saying that uh, this girl may just be, you know, like a one-off wonder for this uh, movie, you know, like um, it's not really a movie, more like a miniseries, but you know, people call it what they want. Now of course I'll get to that a little bit later, but first let's uh, read a little bit more of this. Now of course I'll get to that a little bit later, but first uh, let's take a look at the uh, Twitter thing that seems and posted it with the uh, new voice actor. And here she is, ladies and gentlemen, the new voice actor for the 4th Powerpuff Girl, uh, Toya Delizi, or Delazi, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, and she says, and just like that, I became a Powerpuff Girl, much love to my ad cartoon ever for trusting me with this epic job, hashtag life goals. But you know everyone, I really do think she's kind of over-exaggerating a little bit, uh, because uh, voice acting for one of the worst reboots of recent memory is not a dev definitely not a life goal. So um, I, I'm just, uh, I, I think she's just saying that, you know, uh, it's like, yeah, she's obviously happy that she's going to be voice acting in it, so, you know, um, good for her is all I can say. And even the senior vice president at uh, the Turner Broadcasting Company had this to say, Toya is definitely a perfect fit as the fourth Powerpuff Girl. She is confident, bubbly, and quirky, all the values that we are familiar with, love, and appreciate. We have a lot of surprises up our sleeves, oh really? Uh, yeah, more shoehorning, I honestly cannot wait for that, too. Oh, uh, what a what a huge surprise. So if you've been watching recent discussion videos about this, and of course uh, have been a fan of this show, you will know why people are in such a tizzy about this, you know, this is just another little bit of pandering like they've always done in this reboot, and uh, they are pretty much desecrating everything that the original Powerpuff Girls, you know, uh, and uh, everything that the original writers did. It's like uh, now they are ruining the purple Powerpuff Girl, which uh, a lot of you remember as Bunny, you know. Uh, she was a, uh, a pretty flawed, but also pretty sweet, you know, kind of a girl that was created by the girls themselves, and uh, she unfortunately died protecting them, so um, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say for now. But now let's cover the other article, which I really, uh, really love the title of, because it is absolutely fitting. Gizmodo says the new Powerpuff Girls will be adding a fourth member because nothing is sacred and what a fitting title it is. This wouldn't be the first time Professor Utonium's daughters have welcomed a fourth hero into their squad. Uh, there was also Bunny, the sister that Blossom Bubbles and Buttercup created in their father's lab using an unstable mix of the same ingredients that made them. Bunny didn't last long before her molecular structure gave out and she exploded. Rest in peace, Bunny. Yes, uh, rest in peace, Bunny, you were an amazing addition. And that is basically what they're trying to ruin, you know. It's like, okay, Okay, they're trying to repeat something that happened in the original show, you know, because they uh, obviously are bereft of any other ideas, which is why they pander so much, and uh, if they wanted to make a fourth pop of girl, it would be totally fine, but why would you make her purple, you know? And lastly, the article also says it seems unlikely that CN would actually keep this new girl in the fold uh, past the event of the movie, but hey, anything's possible. I honestly hope that it's not possible, okay? I really do hope that they only uh, keep around for this uh, one little event, because uh, while I don't care about this reboot at all, the less they do to ruin our child her memories of the original one and the better. And on a side note, one of the comments on the article had this to say, already leaked via a Russian promo video a few months back, there really is zero cohesion between Craig McCracken's original designs, uh, not even a matter of skin color, notice the hips, uh, sharp edges in design, and a lack of uh, black line art in the hair. It's most likely just a single episode gimmick, but honestly this deserves the title of DeviantArt Original Character. Do not steal more than anything else in this horrendous reboot, and what a lovely comment it is, and how truthful it is as well. Like, this girl really, really does look like a typical run-of-the-mill recolor you'd find on the internet, right? It's like the whole thing of not putting black outlines on the hair, 
As you can see with the other girls, it really doesn't work with their design, okay? And honestly, I do have to say, you know, like uh, the whole hips thing, why would you give this character hips? I mean, uh, it's like a, a preschool character with hips, I don't know, I think... I think the designer don't doesn't know what a, what a kid looks like. Uh, they actually look like giant walking planks, okay? Uh, like that's basically what kids look like, like giant boards. So I don't know why that. What the hell were they thinking? I really do think that this is gonna be just a one-off wonder type of character. You know, they're just gonna put her there for this whole uh, little miniseries movie thing or whatever this, the hell it's supposed to be. Just like all the other things that they put in. You know, like we all remember the uh, old uh, shoehorned in memes. The twerking uh, the uh, unicorn pony thing and uh, now this you know like uh, again like i said they are bereft of all ideas i honestly didn't really want to make a video about this because i really don't care about the reboot but uh one of my fans on twitter said uh, said something about it they asked me if i'm gonna make one about this so i figured hey if someone's asking about it uh, you know some of my viewers uh, probably want to hear my opinion on it so um there you go i honestly couldn't give a rat's ass about this reboot uh, you know but the fact that they made her purple you know it's like it's another thing that they did to just ruin the original show and all that i mean uh, the episode where Bunny appeared, it's like, it was a very mature, you know, part of the show, it was a pretty mature episode, and, you know, basically, uh, when uh, Bunny was first created, she appeared, you know, kind of, like, ugly and stupid and all that stuff, but in the end, she, uh, did the right thing, and, uh, she sacrificed herself, you know, for her sisters and all that, and now they're just turning it into this, you know, uh, I mean, it's like, it's really stupid. That's basically it, uh, thank you all so much for watching, be sure to subscribe and press the little bell icon, and as always, I'm Demon Cringe, and I'll be seeing you guys and gals in the next video.